da irgendwo. Ein cooles Bild. Uh, der Beginn unseres Abenteuers. Geh da nicht rein. Irving, you hear me? Ach, for fuck's sake. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was uh, busy. Oh, uh no problem. It's fine. What do you want to tell me? It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Hotel's full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. It didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. Es sind die Rohre. Es sind immer die Rohre. Was ist das nur für ein Geräusch? Nikki? I remembered. What? The sound I keep hearing. Did you figure out where it's coming from? Yes, I mean, no, maybe, but I remember why it sounds familiar. The chandeliers. What chandeliers? The ones in the ballroom. Nicole, I, I don't follow. I'm probably stung from before. Stop thinking about before and listen to me. I'm, I'm listening. When I was little, I could sit for hours and watch them set up the parties in the ballroom. Uh-huh. To me, those chandeliers were like a flying merry-go-round. What does all this have to do with the sound you heard? Every time the window behind the bar was opened, the decorations would clink. That's the sound I heard. Those old chandeliers moving in the breeze. But the chandeliers in the ballroom were taken down two or three years ago. I'm not crazy. But what you're saying is impossible. I'm sure. And no, I don't understand. But whatever made that sound is around here somewhere. You're worrying me. I just need to think and listen. Okay. Uh, keep me posted. Please. Okay. Mama. Okay. Da hinten, oder? Der einzige Raum, den wir öffnen können. Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She... talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. It was the beginning of the end, and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again. And then see Nikki. Einfach so. Careful. War das ein Pedobär? Hat der die Kleine vergewaltigt und dann getötet? Ist das das, was es aussagen soll am Ende? Ah, 
Was? Ich soll jetzt ins Bett gehen? Habe ich das richtig verstanden? Was war das für ein komisches Geräusch? Habt ihr das auch gehört? Tag 8. Okay. Ähm, wer möchte hier bitte aufwachen? Ich hätte gern eine Lampe, nein? Da brennt Licht. Warum brennt da Licht? Warum bin ich hier? Kann mir das mal einer erklären? Ich, ich... Schlafsack? Jesus. <lacht> Jesus. Er ist nicht mal ein Jesus, ist ein Kreuz. Jesus. Seltsam, aber okay. Rednerpult. Ja, ich dachte, ich kann da vielleicht, aber gut. Dann muss ich wahrscheinlich durch diesen fucking unheimlichen... Ich meine, hier waren wir ja schon mal, aber hier... ich schwöre, da passiert jetzt dann was. Gut ist, dass wir das ja schon kennen. Und es gab bisher noch keinen Jumpscare, also hoffe ich, dass es auch so bleibt. Und dann können wir hier ganz relaxed durchgehen, als wäre das ein stinknormaler, gar nicht unheimlicher Keller. Kann die nicht mal mit sich selber ein bisschen reden? So, wie bin ich hierher gekommen? Warum bin ich hier aufgewacht? Ich bin seit acht Tagen hier, wie seltsam. Warum hört der Sturm nicht auf, obwohl es hieß, er lässt nach? Ach so, ich bin hier irgendwie, ich kann keine Karte öffnen, gar nichts. Also bin ich in einem Traum oder ich laufe jetzt einfach mal. Irgendwas wird schon passieren. Da ist ein Stück Wand offen. Hallo? <lacht> jetzt aber raus hier, jetzt aber raus hier, jetzt aber raus hier. <lacht> ah, das beste Szene von Shooters Money Too. Jetzt aber raus hier, jetzt aber raus hier, jetzt aber raus hier. Ah, hier waren wir schon, ist das Klo. So, da ist der Ballsaal. Nur da müsste doch hier ist die Bühne, glaube ich. Vielleicht passiert hier ja jetzt was. Da einer gepfiffen. Ah. Staubig. Der Wand ist die Tür zu. Oh oh. Sieht aus wie immer. Oh, diese Türen hier drin. Ekelhaft. Seit acht Tagen Tornado da draußen. Ruf doch mal den Irving an. Kann nichts aktivieren? Was ist denn das? Was soll ich denn tun? Einfach rumlaufen oder... Mann, lass es doch mal mit den Türen. Das ist übelst creepy. Geht's denn hier hin? Nach draußen, oder? Ich 
Terrasse. Hier waren wir noch gar nicht. Heißt jetzt nicht, dass es gut ist, aber... Ach doch, hier waren wir schon. Das ist diese komische Lagerhalle. Was ist hier los? Ähm. Nein! Hören Sie auf! Wieso ist hier auch so ein Durchgang? Das kann ja nicht Sinn der Sache sein, dass ich diesen Durchgang finde. Das kann ich mir nicht vorstellen. Hier muss was anderes passieren. Hallo? Ich geh einfach ins Bett. Wenn ich schon in der Kirche aufwache, ist es sinnvoll, einfach wieder ins Bett zu gehen. Büde ich jetzt einfach mal so. Der Anwalt nicht gesagt, er braucht nur ein paar Stunden. Ah ne, er hat einen Notruf gerufen. Stimmt, der ist tot. Der ist vermutlich tot. Irving? Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. <lacht> It's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Ding Does dong. that happen a lot? No. Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Yeah, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. Yeah, I'll do that. Ich habe kurz gucken müssen, ob in der Realität die Kirche bimmelt oder im Spiel. <lacht> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nikki. Nenn mich nicht Nikki. Kennst mich gar nicht. Ich werde niemals nass werden, nur wegen dir. So, jetzt müssen wir wieder in diesen ekligen Keller irgendwie runter. Und zur Kirche. Schon im Spiel, das Gebimmel. Hört sich echt an wie bei uns die Kirchenglocke. <lacht> War ich jetzt kurz verwirrt? Nee. Wo waren das jetzt nochmal? Da ist die Küche. Hä, das war schon hier. Ach nee, da bin ich ja im... Nee, da bin ich ja nur im Kreis gelaufen, gell? Stimmt, ich bin ja von da gekommen. Über den Ballsaal, glaube ich, kam ich. Aber ich glaube, ich könnte auch über die Küche gehen, oder? Ah. Wir walken einfach immer weiter. Ich ignoriere die unheimlichen Türen, die manchmal einfach wieder zugehen.
Also sie legt über Nacht tatsächlich all ihre Sachen ab. Das ist zumindest ein Ticken realistisch. Erklärt auch, warum ich keine Sachen hatte. Aber sie hätte ja mit sich selber so eine Gedankenstimme, die sagt, äh, bin ich in Schlaf gewandelt? Ah, von wo bin ich gekommen? mich verarschen. Bin doch von hier irgendwo. Das war das erste Ding, was ich gefunden hatte und jetzt finde ich es nicht mehr, weil ich dumm bin. Toilette, da muss es hier irgendwo... Was zum Fick? Nein! Wo bin ich denn jetzt? Das Hexenfeuer des Hotels. Ein Fenster zur Außenwelt. Nein, hier will ich überhaupt nicht sein! Ich weiß, wie ich hinkomme. Ich hätte von da, wo die Garage ist in dem Tunnel, da komme ich doch, wenn ich die Treppen runtergehe, komme ich da doch hin. Ich hätte mir jetzt den ganzen Weg sparen können, ich Idiot. Hm. Naja. Und dann gehen wir halt den ganzen Spaß wieder zurück. Oder war es hier nicht auch möglich, da irgendwie lang zu gehen? Ah ne, hier war nur das Bild. Wieder Zeit verschwendet. So viele Zeitverschwendungen hier drin. In der guten alten Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine. It's a trademark. It's a trademark. So, ich mach mal hier nochmal. Zack. Eventuell hören wir ja mal was. Außer dieser unheimlichen Tür, die jetzt zugehen wird. So, jetzt müssen wir da rechts. Ich mach das mal wieder weg. So. Dann kommen wir da in, diese, in diesen Kellergang. Da war schon wieder eine Tür. Einfach weitergehen. Gar nicht drüber nachdenken, wie unheimlich der Laden ist. Uh, hi. Uh, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. So. Hallo Kirche. En nomine Patre et Spiritus Sancti. When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church. 
But I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. Mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets. But he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart or it's your end, round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you, all that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How... it's... I... I... Wow. Total mystery. Wanna play? Uh, I... yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll, I'll call you if anything comes to mind. Ich überlege auch schon, aber... Treppe runter und dann um die Ecke. Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for mountain wanderers. God damn sons of... Oh, I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Practicing for the church choir now? Ah, I know this tune. The souls that come out of their graves. It's from the book of Revelation. Can I ask you about your mysterious father, who you only sort of mention? My father was nothing like Leonard. Well, I don't know what happened between you, but if you want to talk about it, I... I... I will. But not now. It's, um... It's complicated. Yeah, I get that. Believe me, I do. Thanks. Aha. Fertig oder was? Dachte eigentlich, jetzt kommt auf einmal wieder Tag 9. Ich finde das Geräusch ehrlich gesagt übelst unheimlich. Eigentlich dürfte man da nichts erkennen können, weil der Sturm draußen müsste das Richtmikrofon fast zum Platzen bringen. Na gut. Ja, dann gehen wir jetzt wieder zurück, oder? Wer stellt hier bitte eine Kirchenbank hin? Alter, das ist es aber... No risk, no fun. Geräusche, die man da hört. Ich hoffe, ihr schaut das mit Kopfhörern, das ist wichtig. Vogelgezwitscher war da gerade. Huh. Geht denn jetzt ab? Das ist das Rätsel. Hat sie jetzt sagen müssen, oder wie? Okay, Schnee. Okay, wir nähern uns jetzt, glaube ich, was Interessantem. Anscheinend gibt es hier tatsächlich geheime Räume. 
Oh je. Oh Gott. Bruder, das ist nur gemalt. Scheiße, sieht aus wie so... Der hat da nicht pedomäßig ein Kind. Hat er nicht. Nein. No, no decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I... It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? Tell me what you see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music, a pink bed, it's like a kid's room. No way. This place doesn't make sense. Ich weiß doch, was es ist. Das ist ein Pedo-Gefängnis. Oh Gott. I think you should get out of there now. Wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room, a, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. You can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. Bitte, jeder erwachsene Mensch weil, ist das Erste, was er sich denkt, das ist ein Pedoraum. Jetzt mal ohne Schmarrn. Did you get out of there? You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe. There was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't. Let me go on. Oh, man. Schlüssel. Aufheben. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box, the one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think, someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on. Hier. Ich habe ganz andere Fragen. Da war ein Schmetterling, der mich hierhin gelotst hat. Das da ist doch kein Rätsel, wenn es eins zu eins auf dieser Holztafel steht. Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a, a, a... The more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for 10 years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there. In total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel on his conscience. He, 
He wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. You're joking, right? You think he did this? Wer sonst? That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes. How dare you? My my father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying. Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old. But fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him. And I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that if you don't want to help discover the truth, ich don't call me. Ich hab gar nichts gedrückt. Blöde Kuh. Aber er hat doch recht. Mal ernsthaft, das ist doch das erste, was ich jetzt auch gedacht habe. Der kleine Pedobär. Ich wusste aber auch nicht, dass die Rachel schon 16 war. Ich dachte, die war 12. Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Oh, finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. A bit. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then the lipstick from 10 years ago turns up still good. And then my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, no, no. No, I'm just being paranoid. And then... There'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica Richtig, of her room. Yeah. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Ich stehe hier ja schon eine ganze Weile, während sie hier dumm quatscht. The 27th of December 1983. The hockey finals at Missoula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three hour game. And I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Hmm. 